Over its rocky 45-year history, Scientology has driven for mainstream acceptance. People have been searching for thousands of years for spiritual release and freedom. And what we have in Scientology is the answer, how to achieve that. Ultimately, the whole purpose is to help everybody else, and that's all it is. The church claims 8 million members, while outsiders say the number is around 300,000. Regardless, the Church of Scientology continues to expand, especially in Eastern Europe and Asia. Well, it's truly the, the religious philosophy that we need to get through at the turn of the century. L. Ron Hubbard continues to be revered by Scientology. The church has purchased land in New Mexico and California to store the Hubbard gospel. There, it will be protected from natural disasters or a nuclear holocaust. Whatever else man was trying to do, whether he was cultured or primitive and so on, he was attempting to survive. We're unique amongst other great religions of Earth in that all of our source materials of the original teachings of our religion have been recorded. Uh, so as a result, we expect that our religion will be taught and practiced the same way 50 years from now, 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now. Scientology's startling battles with world governments and multi-million dollar companies represent more than a cheap play for money or power. By insisting that it has discovered the key to human happiness, Scientology has thrown itself into the ring with other religions in a fight for the hearts and minds of the people. What is the statement, God helps those who help themselves? Well, in Scientology we're engaged in helping people help themselves so they can fully comprehend and understand God. Freedom of religion means that every individual has the right to believe whatever it is that he or she wants and to engage in any kind of religious practice so long as that practice does not actually harm another human being or cause a great danger to society as a whole. In this country, the government is terrified of religion. They're terrified of taking a, a hard look and a hard stand and saying, this kind of activity is religious, this kind of activity is not. When you have an organization that has a tax exemption and a staff that will say or do anything in order to get their point of view across. I consider that to be an intrinsic threat to what I love about America. The only ethics in the world are Scientology ethics for the purpose of expanding Scientology, taking over the heads of government and ruling the world according to Scientology uh, technology. We're here, we're doing our thing, we're not trying to aggrandize or take over anybody same time we want to be left alone. Nobody's got to do it. Nobody's forced to do it. I've never been forced to do it. It's always been my choice. Always been my choice. If somebody tampers with that choice, it's un-American. I don't think that Scientology should be banned, and I'm not seeking to stop Scientology from existing. I do want people to know facts. I want them to know the truth about it, so they can make their own decision. The way to understand Scientology is to see it for yourself. We in Scientology don't tell you what you should conclude concerning any part of the religion. But when you've seen it in action, well, then you can make some conclusions. It's all about you. It's not about what anyone else says or thinks. It's about just an individual becoming a better, stronger, more powerful individual. The only thing that I can see really occurring is that more and more people find out more and more about what Scientology is really about and uh, they'll sort of be ridiculed into history. People don't want to accept new ideas, a new and better way uh, to look at something. They don't want to do that. It's just a natural uh, habit of man. Reality is just agreement, nothing else. All this is held together only because we agree it's held together. And that's all Scientology is. It's a bunch of people saying and agreeing and chanting. This is the truth, this is the truth, this is the truth. And when you stop chanting it, there's nothing left. There ain't no truth. There ain't no truth. And suddenly you find out that the only way you can be a Scientologist is to not be a Scientologist. You don't have to come into Scientology. You don't have to participate in it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. But if you're looking for answers, there are a lot of answers in Scientology. The aim and goal of Scientology is to take an individual and 
put them in a position where they can confront their own problems and solve their own problems and so bring themselves up by their own bootstraps. Probably my favorite concept of, of L. Ron Hubbard's is uh, a world without criminality, a world without war, and a world without insanity. And I know of no other group that uh, their goals are that clear. We want a clear planet. And what do I mean by clear? To totally eradicate the reactive mind. And that brings you to a state of clear. When you truly understand or have, have found the answers to life itself, and you truly understand the nature of the spirit, uh, what flows from that are all the answers. The advances in the sciences are monumental. They're mind-boggling. What about a similar advance in the field of spiritualism or religion? Why not? Scientology, we believe, is the point where science and religion are truly met. Scientology is for an able guy like you, or like me, uh, able to function in life, able to make his own way, does his work, and so forth. All right, that's the man that should be helped. With Hubbard's word as their guide, Scientologists fan across the globe, resolves to clear the planet for everyone. While the U.S. now views Scientology as a religion, that is not the case in other countries where the church has attempted to establish itself. Germany, as we briefly reported, is one. It has taken the official view that Scientology is not only not a religion, but an enterprise out to bilk its members of money. The German government has also said the Scientologists are a threat to democracy. The Scientologists have charged the Germans of using Nazi tactics and of practicing religious persecution. While some members of Congress have protested, the American government has taken no official action in the dispute. Join me tomorrow night as the members of New York's oldest motorcycle gang, the Chingalings, invite us into their violent and secretive gang, Road Warriors, the Biker Brotherhood on Inside Story. I'm Bill Curtis. Thanks for watching this special edition of Investigative Reports here on A&E. Now you can own a video cassette of this program. Call 1-800-423-1212 and you'll receive the program you've just seen for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-423-1212. Assault, sex, drugs, and drinking. A hell on wheels motorcycle gang in New York City. On Inside Story, tomorrow at 9 Eastern, 10 Pacific. Now, Law and Order is next on A&E.